a savory um, custard toast. We're trying new places in Columbus today, like a community market. Warm cookies on a 16 degrees day. I'm off to go get the Valentine's Day nails. So then we're gonna make some pasta today. I'm not gonna pretend like I have anything together right now. Ciao, welcome back to my channel. In the car right now. It's a beautiful sunny Saturday. I'm actually super starving. It's almost like 11 o'clock, so I've been snacking on these raspberry, no, what are they? Strawberry lemonade Greek yogurt like cheesecake protein bars. We're actually gonna make that recipe later in this video. This was just a test recipe and they were a success. But anyways, I'm snacking because I'm starving, but we're on our way to my mom and I. We're going to a bunch of places today. Already dropped off her compost, and then now we're headed to an, another suburb of Columbus to look at like a community market because it's winter time here in Columbus, so the farmer's markets are kind of like, they're not as popular, there's not as many going on as there usually is during the summer. So there's this one where they gather like a bunch of different vendors from all over Columbus to sell like some community, like local produce and stuff like that. And hopefully we'll find something. And then we're just gonna enjoy the day in the sunshine. We are off to go get coffee. Well, not her, me. I want coffee. We're trying new places in Columbus today. Two new places, being a tourist in our own city or adventuring in our own city because you can do that. It's fun to do that. And you're about to fall, so let's go get coffee. I hate the snow. was packed so busy because it's a sunny Saturday morning and it was we were sitting in the Sun the whole time getting our vitamin D and so my cheeks are a little bit rosy but now we're headed in the same neighborhood same suburb to lunch my brother's coming to meet us which is very fun we're gonna try another place that's been on my list since I've been in Italy it's like a cafe and we're gonna just try it out and I'm super excited and I just love trying new places in wherever I go so I'm starving too So lunch was delicious. I loved the place. It was good. It was overpriced. I get annoyed when the portions are a little bit too small for the price, and so it was still delicious. It delivered on like the flavors, but a little too small portions. But anyways, I'm just so happy we tried it out. And now we just got out of the car and we're heading into a luxury consignment store. I love consignment shopping. It's so sustainable, it's so fun to find things, like go on a little hunt, go on a little venture. It's just something to do. So let's check it out.
got? What do we got? Okay. They're falling apart. Because they're warm? Oh, the drama. There we go. All right, that and then, careful. <laughs> and then you got this. Careful. Wait, can you twist it a little bit? Perfect. And a chocolate chip. Chocolate bean butter is better. But I'll try still both. try both. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Isn't that good? Oh my god. Wow. Warm cookies on a 16 degrees day. After shopping on a beautiful sunny Saturday, it doesn't get better than that. It doesn't get better. Back in my stomping grounds, because I grew up, not grew up, well, I lived in this suburb of Columbus for four years. So it feels very nostalgic, very sentimental. What a good day so far. What a good day. I probably have chocolate in my teeth. Cute pink lamp, let's just ignore my pink room. Anyways, <laughs> um, I was gonna vlog today, that was the plan. I vlogged my coffee and breakfast, which was a savory um, custard toast. So custard toast has been trending for a couple months now, honestly, almost like probably two months. And it's like Greek yogurt and one egg, and then you usually add like maple syrup and cinnamon, add some berries, add some fruit, add some syrup on top after it's been baked, and that's the breakfast trend. I tried to do it savory because I got a comment which I'm going to totally address either in a whole entire like three recipe recipe video or eventually. I, I Don't worry, I'm making lists of all these videos I need to make and will make when I have my own kitchen. Okay? Okay. Or at least when I have the house to myself which looks like it won't happen for a while. So anyways, so yeah, I made those savory toast with Parmesan and tomatoes because that's what I had on hand. Added a little balsamic, which I added some basil, but I didn't have any. I was even like mozzarella would have been good. Um, I could have like added like even some like mushrooms to the mix, like done like a, maybe a, like a ham, ham and cheese like toast. I didn't love it. I also think um, I didn't add enough Greek yogurt because it was more like just baked egg on top of bread instead of like a custardy situation my bread also wasn't smushing down because i had sourdough bread i just failed <laughs> i just failed this morning that's what that's what happened with the toast i mean i still ate it it was yummy but it was just like that's an idea and because like someone asked that's what i was getting to too is that someone asked like what's an idea for a savory breakfast that's healthy because all i ever see i think they said was like avocado toast and eggs like you know and granted i just made another version of toast so that's not super helpful actually when i um filmed that it was like 10 o'clock a.m 10 o'clock a.m <laughs> 10 a.m i was gonna go to the gym this morning but that was a fail um uh, my last youtube video the one before this if you guys have seen it took me so much time because i put so many recipes in that one vlog and i was so specific about how i wanted to edit it of course you didn't notice which i don't expect you to notice but i like really wanted to make sure like every sound kind of flowed and i'm sure i made some mistakes but i put so much too much time into that youtube video so anyways i just didn't vlog all day because then i got all this like huge hype after i uploaded that video after i finished some recipes i've been having a lot of energy even though i slept like four hours last night <laughs> <laughs> so now I've switched into cleaning and organizing. That's the update, I guess. Yesterday was incredible. Um, again, I know it was, it was also kind of rushed. I'm not going to lie. I was also really present with my mom. I was trying to just, you know, I know I've been hanging out with my mom too. I swear I have friends. I'm actually meeting up with friends this week. I'm literally going to San Diego to be with friends. So like I have friends, I swear, but I'm just taking advantage of my mother-daughter time because she is without question my best friend and I'm not ashamed of that. I'm really lucky to have that relationship. And again, if I do move in the next like few months, I know I just won't get to see her at all or really much at all and she's my best friend. So that's why I've been hanging out a lot with her and trying to be super present. We literally were out from, when was it? 9.30 a.m. to um, eight o'clock last night, like 8.30. It was a great day together. I'm so mad at myself, honestly. <laughs> always in a rush. I'm always in a rush and if that is the goal, today is January 31st, 2022. Keep me accountable. My goal for 2022 is to learn to not be in a rush. And do you know why I'm always in a rush? There's a great explanation why, as I'm in a rush to go get my Valentine's Day nails. Because I add on too much. It's as simple as that. I always think I can do more when really I need to be doing 
less. All right, so I'm off to go get the Valentine's Day nails, which I'm so excited about. I can't talk long because I have to keep driving and I definitely should not drive and talk. Oop, this is in the way. I have my very last bite. <laughs> this is the last serving of the test recipe of these uh, yogurt cheesecake, uh, lemon, strawberry lemonade yogurt cheesecake bites. So I'm about to eat that, drink my coffee, and we're gonna go get some adorable Valentine's Day nails. And then we're gonna make some Valentine's Day treats. And it's just gonna be a good day. And we're gonna stop rushing. Stop it, Caroline. Crazy, panic, maniac, human I am. Ugh. Tuesday, Tuesday in my mom's room. It's like three o'clock right now. I got the nails done yesterday. There's a lot of, lot, a lot of drama with getting the nails done yesterday. Apparently the, in Italy, where I was getting my nails, nails done, they were doing a different product than what I had booked yesterday. The girl who was trying to do my nails couldn't do them. I have like a bunch of <laughs> raspberry powder all over my hands right now because I've just been recipe content creation, creation, creating for the past two hours. And then the girl rushed to do like clean my cuticles and prep my nails a little bit for another girl to do the other service that I apparently had been getting in Italy that wasn't whatever. And she cut up my cuticles. She cut two of my um, fingers. And then she was so nice though, but she like butchered my hands. And then I went to go get my nails design done and I hate them. 
I absolutely hate them. <laughs> and I was so excited to have the most adorable Valentine's Day nails yesterday. And I hate my nails. They're barely noticeable. I said a pastel pink um, heart design. And I even showed her a photo. It was one hour just to prep my nail. Two hours to get the nails done. After that, I had to go back and forth because I got there at 11. And then I couldn't redo my nails until 2. So yesterday sucked. <laughs> Sunday was, was tough. Saturday was a fantastic day. I haven't told you guys this, but I came home Saturday night and, you know, talked about some things with my mom and bawled my eyes out. I was having such a joyful day. I was so present the entire day. It was a beautiful, wonderful, wonderful day. But I still ended up crying and bawling my eyes out on Saturday night. And I know what you're saying. Oh my God, Caroline, it's another dramatic vlog. Caroline, you're so dramatic. Caroline, you're so emotional. Like, when are your vlogs ever going to be like not so but like i don't know how much longer this phase of my life is going to last when people are working through a hard time in life it's not just a few weeks it's not even just a few months like sometimes it's longer than a few months five months six months a year maybe two years to work through a huge life transition a bunch of change like i moved home from scottsdale i broke up with my boyfriend of two and a half years it's been months but still that's two years i spent with someone over two years i spent with someone i traveled to italy i gave up you know my furniture is in storage um i'm trying to build a business and and I'm constantly behind because I'm trying to work and do my other stuff that actually like pays bills and that can help me save and this is where I am in life and like I know every vlog is so emotional and it's a roller coaster and it's you know also up and down but like I'm not gonna pretend like I have anything together right now I'm figuring it out every day oh, I get more and more clarity I get more answers I'm getting further I'm, I'm progressing but like these emotional vlogs are not gonna stop like these where I freak out and tell you all the issues that I had and why I cried and all this stuff like they're not gonna stop and this is just where I am in life like I keep on saying like this vlog you'll be organized this vlog you'll be all happy this vlog you'll have no stress this vlog this vlog is what it is and I hope you're enjoying it so far we're gonna go get drinks with a girlfriend tonight aperitivo going out for aperitivo Mediterranean lifestyle communication relationships spend time with people to help deal with this stress and this overwhelm and you know community is everything it's like number one in the mediterranean lifestyle community so the only way out is through and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go through When I said in my last video how I totally switched out all my walking all around Rome to driving in the car, I really have. <laughs> it's raining outside. I'm very sad because I finished my latte, but I like holding things. I'm just going to hold it here so maybe I won't use my hands so much when I talk. <laughs> um, pouring rain. It's Thursday. Um, we're supposed to get this rain. It's supposed to turn into ice and then snow and then the apocalypse is coming and it's just, you know, all we have to talk about in Ohio is this dang weather out running errands because today is did i say thursday because today's wednesday today's wednesday my last day to kind of get i mean i could go out tomorrow but i don't remember we're not stressing out we're not rushing we're not adding more to our plate than we need to so tomorrow i just want to clean and pack and of course work but i don't want to be running around so today i totally cleared off my schedule and i completely um booked today to be driving all around town i have a bunch of beauty appointments because if you're going on a trip might as well feel special about it so i'm actually headed to go get my lashes done now lashes lifted and tinted is a, is is amazing i do it like two or three times a year when i can afford it when i want to treat myself and i haven't done it since september of last year it just makes a load of difference. I hate putting on mascara. It burns my sensitive little eyeballs. So to limit the amount of mascara that I use, because I have my lashes tinted and lifted, 
love it. And then I'm going over to my aunt's house because she's an esthetician. She's gonna give me a facial. And I get to play with my kitties. I'm so excited. So my kitties, I had them about two and a half years ago before I moved to Scottsdale. And then I had to give them to my aunt because I wasn't moving across the country with them. And she loves them to death. She's a better mom than I even was. Um, so that's good, they're happy. And then, so my aunt's gonna give me a facial. We're gonna make some pasta. So <laughs> I made already some recipes in this video. Strawberry lemonade, oatmeal cookie crust, yogurt bars, yogurt swirl bars. <sighs> The name, it's always complicated with me. They're to die for. They don't even need, I mean, they're definitely, I would say like, they're not, they, they have the texture of cheesecake, they have that nice cookie crust. I like that the crust is a little bit thicker than like normal cheesecake, much healthier, so full of protein. They were so delicious. Um, so I made those, turned out fantastic, so good. So then we're gonna make some pasta today. Oh, and then after we make pasta and I have my facial, I'm getting my eyebrows waxed. Oh, what a busy day. Yeah? Cheers. Shots, 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 Carolina. Woo! All right, let's get cooking. We got these gorgeous, gorgeous mushrooms. They're so fun to kind of look at right now, actually. Um, they're stunning. They're so meaty, and I just love the texture of these mushrooms. They're such a satisfying vegetable, and they're also really in season right now. It was so fun going to that little marketplace on Saturday because really the only things there were such root vegetables, which I had talked about in my meal prep video uh, back in January, of um, sweet potatoes, turnips, and parsnips, and carrots, and they had mushrooms, and they had greens, but other than that, like they didn't have um, a ton of stuff because that's what's in season right now. So um, I loved that. So we got these mushrooms, and they're kind of on their last leg, and I have some water going right now, so that's the first step in making this super like 15 minute, 20 minute meal. So the pot of pasta water is going. Very specifically, I'm using gluten pasta. I wanted to cater to vegetarian, um, vegan, and plant-based today with this recipe. If you're gluten-free, of course you could use a chickpea pasta and that would be a great hack for also getting more protein in. If you're also gluten-free but not too worried about the protein, um, buckwheat is a great alternative. Um, there's just so many pasta alternatives. So if you want a pasta alternative that's not gluten, go for it. I really want the gluten because pasta water, it adds to a sauce. That's why Italian pastas are so light and luxurious and they stay together. It's because they always Nine times out of 10, a pasta recipe in, in Italy will use the pasta water because that starchiness just blends the sauce seamlessly. It helps the sauce stick to the pasta so you don't need a ton of sauce. It can be lightly sauced. How many times can I say the word sauce? <laughs> um, so that's why I want to use those starches from the pasta water because we're not using traditional ingredients here. We're gonna be using silken tofu and you could use also uh, soaked cashews kind of in the same place. We're basically just making a cream, a vegan cream. I love the silken tofu because that's super amount of protein. Um, and you can use silken tofu in smoothies. Just it, it just adds creaminess. You can't taste it at all. You could add it into, into like your oatmeal in the morning and make a super creamy oatmeal. And again, you're not tasting I don't think that tofu flavor, you're just getting an extra dose of protein. It is soy, so I don't eat soy very often. Too much soy for me does make my stomach a little upset, so I have to watch how much I eat, but a nice small portion of soy in a pasta sauce once every once in a while, perfect, perfect option. And then we're going into the aromatics. We're keeping it Italian. We're keeping the aromatics so incredibly simple. I'm gonna deglaze with some rosé. Should I be using white wine? Probably. Is this what my aunt has? Yes, I like it. We love it. That means just kind of get some flavor going in the pan and kind of develop more flavors once the mushrooms are cooked. We're gonna do the mushroom sauteed in liquid gold, olive oil. Normally, I do not store my olive oil in clear. I never suggest that, but just for travel today, I did throw it into a clear bottle because um, I wanted my Italian olive oil. I know, right? Uh, shallot, because it's such a milder, more um, just delicate onion flavor. It's not gonna be too harsh of an onion uh, flavor fighting with the mushrooms. The mushrooms are gonna be the star of the show. We don't need to add all this stuff. We need to keep it simple. I want like this to be a mushroom, creamy mushroom pasta. They're the star. Um, so we're just gonna do a diced delicate shallot. I think I found like the perfect amount for these mushrooms. Nice clove of garlic, thinly sliced. I'm gonna saute the mushrooms first because they take um, longer to cook than the shallot and especially the garlic will. So we don't want the shallot or the garlic to be burning. So I'm gonna halfway, three fourths of the way, cook the mushrooms and get them nice and caramelized. Uh, add in the shallot, the garlic, while the mushrooms are cooking away, 
I'm going to add in some thyme as well. So the thyme, the herbs, the aromatics. The aromatics are everything to an Italian pasta dish. So we have for the cooking process, thyme. Thyme is a great cooking herb. It does really well being cooked and holding up to its, its flavor. And it's such a small herb too. And then to top it off, um, on top we will be sprinkling parsley. Once we declaze, declaze, I don't know what that meant. Once we deglaze the pan with some white wine, after we've caramelized all of the vegetables and the herbs together, um, we put in a little bit of oops, the um, wine. We're gonna add in some lemon zest and lemon juice, not to really taste the lemon, brightening, aromatics, layers of flavor that aren't taking away from the stars. Like you wanna taste the delicious pasta and the mushrooms. And the last ingredient that I haven't really talked about is how are we gonna prepare this silken tofu? So the, another reason why I'm really loving the pasta water idea is when I add the silken tofu to the blender here, I'm gonna take about a fourth a cup or so of the pasta water into the blender with the silken tofu, and that'll create that cream that we can pour into the pan with the pasta and the mushrooms, cook everything together. So that's another great secret tip from the Italian, how they cook they, their pasta. They always pull it before al dente. For the most part, again, it depends on the pasta dish, but, but for the most part, they want to pull it before it's al dente and then cook it with the sauce, cook it with the vegetables, marry everything together. It's not just pasta and then sauce on top. It's, it's all together. I think I hear the water boiling, so it's time to get started. I'm starving, my aunt's starving. I'm so excited for this recipe. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna blend this, this um, tofu in the blender with the pasta water um, a minute before the pasta is ready to be pulled and then just combine everything and it's that simple okay, my cheeks are nice and rosy i rushed to get this all done because the only issue with this sauce is it does get pretty cold pretty quickly well well nonna would be proud okay my grandma would be proud especially because i use gluten pasta but I swear you cannot tell this is silken tofu. You cannot tell that you're getting in a ton of protein. It's vegan, vegetarian, plant-based. It's a little spicy. Maybe that's just me. I don't know why it's so spicy. It's like black pepper spice. And maybe I haven't washed my mouth out since my ginger shot, which I haven't. I haven't no, drank it any water since my ginger. It's not that. I added a lot of pepper. It tastes like pepper. Is it taste good? It's delicious. This is what Italian pasta is. You don't yeah. hide the flavors of the mushrooms, like you don't need to keep adding and adding, like herbs are delicious, lemon, garlic, onions. All right, we're gonna eat, mm. is good. Mm -hmm. Is You gotta try this, date night, Valentine's day night, Monday night, just try. <laughs> Just when I thought I couldn't look any worse than I did last night. It's like almost 8.30, I think. Um, horrible day. Insane amount of weather, snow, whatever's come down. And I'm terrified that my flight's gonna get canceled tomorrow. Um, every single flight in Columbus got canceled today. Every single flight in the Dallas airport got canceled today. I'm coming, I'm going Dallas, Dallas is coming here, and then I'm taking that flight to Dallas and then San Diego. It's gonna be okay gonna be okay positivity i know i look like hell and i also have like a hair mask in right now so my hair is super gross but anyways it's all gonna be okay tomorrow we will chat in the morning i'll close out the vlog with positivity and joy and energy because i'll be getting ready to go to my flight yes i will nothing's gonna change nothing's gonna change Nothing. it's all good positivity we are one week later it is thursday february 10th so exactly one week since I last vlogged for this video. Um, I did end up making it so stressfully to my flight. Um, my flight changed about four times. I even rerouted my whole entire um, flight path to Chicago instead of Dallas because of the ice storm. Super efficient, literally ran to my Columbus gate, ran to my, Colum uh, my Chicago gate, ended up in uh, San Diego, and then on the way home I also had like a 10 minute layover in between 
uh, my flights. So it was a super efficient flight path, which I must admit. But anyways, you don't care about that. So I did get to make it to San Diego and that will be the next vlog. The next video will be my time in San Diego plus or minus maybe like an, a recipe or something um, here in good old Columbus. And I'll give you a nice little life update in my next vlog, in my San Diego vlog, because um, I get some major clarity and answers from my San Diego trip, which I was hoping for. I wasn't expecting, but I was hoping for. So so fun so great so if you are still here i cannot believe it i cannot believe you're still here and you're still watching you're amazing you're incredible i'm so grateful for you i cannot express that enough i'm not exaggerating i'm not being dramatic i'm so grateful for you you are making my day my year my my everything right now you supporting my videos right now is is everything so if you're still here Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some kind of value out of this long video somewhere, whether it was just a simple recipe or something I said, or maybe you enjoyed it, maybe you got to relax to it, maybe you got a laugh out of it. Who knows? I don't know. Let me know. How did you enjoy this video? Um, what was your favorite part? Uh, what's going on? How are you doing? Happy February. What's what's new in February for you? Let me know. Like, just chat. Let's just, like, be friends and chat in the comments below, okay? Until next time, I hope you create a very, very zestful day. Ciao.